my beautiful family members a uh, good morning good afternoon good night from wherever you are listening to me from now today we are going to attend a ceremony whereby one of my friends called Agnes Washu she is graduating from a theology school so guys i'm gonna take you through how her journey has been ah uh, no not her journey how her journey has been like how the day has been hey, so if you've not subscribed on my youtube channel make sure you subscribe and if you've already subscribed i just want to say thank you so very much and by the way if you are new here in chichi's house we talk everything in between as long as it is impacting us as christian as christians as traditionalists as herbalists <laughs> we're gonna talk about it now as you can see i'm trying to do some makeup here and there so that at least i attend her wedding there is a reason why i'm wearing the purple color purple means royalty so i just want to walk in her function looking royalty ting 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 so i'm just doing some makeup um uh, by the way if you find if you find this video so nice touching make sure you subscribe we don't just skip make sure you like mm? notification button to be congratulations See you buyer. Okay, so let us uh, go. Uh, the function is in um, it's called where there. It's in Nyayo, Nyayo Estate. Yes. So I'm heading to Nyayo Estate if I'm not wrong. <laughs> oh, I hope it's a potato guy. And then we are going to see how the function is going to be. And I'm going with my Mubaba. So my Mubaba is taking me, but I've just requested him to just pull up the day for me so that we attend her, her ceremony well. And, uh, you know, it's nice to appreciate a friend. So I'm going to take you through how their graduation is usually taking place so in answer kitu around 10 nata tumechelewa so guys bye bye tukutane uko 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 sawa sawa <laughs> guys now as you can see we have started our journey mm. <laughs> good morning africa good morning kenya so to meanza safari we are going ah a snowball it's not necessarily maliza makeup i don't do heavy makeup <laughs> okay so mpaka tufike and then we're gonna see how the day unfolds So she's gonna be our pastor. Uh -huh. And we are happy for you, Mama. We are really, really happy for you. And uh, yes, that is our sister. You can see her there. So guys, I told you we are going to check her through. So Nilian's a video, Mapema. Nilian Kasubui. Early in the morning. So I said that I have to take my people through on how this function is being made. So we are here. We are telling Messi congratulations. You've come so far. Of course, you are Agnes. Yes. <laughs> that is your name, eh? So we are congratulating you. You've done us proud. We are happy for you. So guys, stick there. We're gonna bring you more. <laughs> Leave us with the 
with our, our smaller sister. I want to congratulate myself. It has been a journey. It has not been easy. Uh, by the grace of God, I have reached here. I started uh, this journey last year, uh, July, and by the grace of God, I have come here, and I thank God. I congratulate myself. Amen. Yes, I Amen. made it by the grace of God. Okay. So what, what, what are you going to tell uh, your teachers, uh, your sisters in Christ, your brothers in Christ? I want to congratulate all my fellow students uh -huh. who have been there in this journey together. Uh -huh. Yes, to continue pressing on. Yeah, this is the beginning. We have another journey uh, ahead. Uh -huh. And also I want to thank all my teachers, the principal, and all those who have taken us through this journey. Yes, I, I, I just love them. I, they made me to love the word and to, to, to love studying the word and doing the research. Yes, I can say I have been built up for that one year. Yes, I have been built May God bless them. Yeah, principal, uh, Bishop Shadra, Cholo. I love you. God bless you. Oh, okay, and then uh, maybe for those who don't know what is happening today, maybe you can give us a small glimpse of yeah. what is happening today. Today, uh, it's our graduation day uh -huh. for the certificate for me. Uh -huh. I've been doing certificate and we have the other, those that the one you can see with the complete uniform, uh -huh. they graduated for the diploma. Yes, we are here to celebrate together, the journey together. So uh, what were you studying, maybe to give us, what were you okay, really studying? I was studying uh, New Testament, uh, uh, New Testament survey, uh, Old Testament survey, uh -huh. historology, yeah, demonology, I, uh, and uh, also hermeneutics, uh -huh. the research of the scriptures. Yes, before you preach the word, you have to know who wrote the word, mm -hmm. where it was written, uh -huh. and why it was written uh, and the environment that was and everything that was happening in that time. Uh -huh. yes. Oh, that's good. Now, I know you had a deski. I want you to speak something to your deski. There was always that deski who is always in class. <laughs> <laughs> Tell your deski something. Yeah, purity, Karimi. Uh, yeah, I want to congratulate you. You were just calling me all the time. Ah, oh, you're not in class. Where are you? Yeah, and also uh, <coughs> encouraging me this journey. Yeah, sometimes I could wake up and don't want to go to class. <laughs> she was always there. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much, Aggie. We you wish you all the best. Thank you for my sisters. Yes. You have come to celebrate. Oh me. yes, yes. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. I feel, I feel loved. I feel celebrated. Okay. We wish you all the best in this journey. Now I can see Aggie uh, with uh, her friend. Uh, now, Aggie, maybe you can introduce to us who she really is uh, and who she has been in your entire life. Before she speaks, I know she can speak today. But I want Aggie to speak first. <laughs> I want Aggie to speak before we introduce her. <laughs> Guilty as charged. <laughs> okay, let's go, Aggie. Yes. Yes, I have my lawyer friend. I think your name is very happy. It's somebody, it's okay. <laughs> or Pastor Grace. I go God calls me Pastor Grace. My friends call me Vanessa. Amen. Yeah, and um, we are children of God. We praise God. We thank God for his grace because we are here today. Uh -huh. And we thank God also for his uh, for the gift of salvation. Yes. I'm telling you. Huh? Yeah. What what will you tell your children that are yet to aspire to be like you today in future? Because I know but how to what I could not really mama. Actually, my, all my children are pastors. Amen. So it is me who is following in the footsteps. Ah, that's no, they, they, they are. They, I, they inspire me. Uh -huh. Actually, they inspire me. Uh -huh. They inspire me. They got saved way back. Uh -huh. Way back, and uh, God did it for me. Amen. God did it for me. Amen. You know. Amen. Yes. Yes. That's an amenity of water. <laughs> <laughs> that that children, children, children learn from their parents, yes. learn from my oh, children. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. yes. It's the other way around. So say hi to them. Maybe it's very important. Hi, Aisha. Mm -hmm. Hi, Ahmed. Hi, Giselle. Hi, Tina. 
This is your mother, all fabulous up in here. In <laughs> <laughs> I, I had to. I had to. We thank God. <laughs> you guys, you guys are looking amazing. Yeah, and the journey, much. I know, is not has not been easy, but God has yes. been faithful. Yes. So we wish you all the best. We are, we are waiting for you to to get to another step again. Amen. So Amen. it's all it's all gonna be well. Amen. We barikiwe Amen. sana. Amen. Continue Amen. loving like Amen. that. Amen. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Your children started. You are following the I'm, I'm following the footsteps. Your children. What did you call master? Wow. Muna kawarembo yani. Facebook ibepotea na nisimu yako. <laughs> so guys, the house is our Nigeria. So you can see our baby girl there, hot. That is the class. That is her team, and we are calling her Pastor Aggie. <laughs> Hi, baby girl. <laughs> Congratulations. You guys are looking hot. In Christ, these are all pastors, apostles, reverends, and bishops, prophets, prophets and prophetesses. What about Mungo? All looking fabulous. Wako wengi na kuambia tuwekine tujuka tutamaliza kukava. There's so many. The graduates, God, as they proceed into graduating, to become graduates of Bible College, we pray that God, the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that you bestowed to them is right away going to take off for the glory and honor of your name. We pray that this function shall be successful for the glory because God, you are here. Bible records that we are true three cut and your name you are their midst.
PRC School, Dr. Bishop Shadrach of Fuoho. Let us give us. We, we are bidding you farewell for the certificate. We will continue with the noisy class next year. Please let us visit it. I'm just making some announcement. Uh, you will bear with us. The sanctuary is small. We can't feed in everyone. It's of paramount importance that we give reference to the uh, graduates. Yes, my beautiful family. Now we have done dancing and then uh, we are almost starting the sermon and then the graduation process goes on. You know, it's it's beautiful to study the word of God and then you graduate from it. And then, kuna tu vile mawazako inapanuka. Okay, it's not all about Jesus Christ. It's more than that. So, to go kwe as you've seen, what she's graduating and. Uh, we thank God. We really thank God. God has been good to her. She has studied her course. She's all, uh, she has done with her certificate. So, so she's going for the mole and she's going to achieve her purpose. And we bless God for that. It's not easy, but God has been faithful. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. The other thing I would like us to erect to, to say is uh, I want to to appreciate the effort of uh, of our uh, number one. Let me start with the principal because this is a man that I came across the first time when he came to school. Uh, he's been uh, very devoted. With together with the with the teaching staff, the faculty. May God bless you so much. Praise the name of the Lord. They've been uh, they've been of help and of importance to us. May God bless you and increase you more and more. Uh, you also want to acknowledge what has been done by our sponsors. Uh, sometimes when I tried to join the Bible school, that was the bad university, it becomes too expensive and I could not continue. So some of us, if we are taught to go to school and pay what is supposed to be paid, we are going to remain as we are. We are not going to continue with education. So God bless you our sponsors. May the grace of God and the goodness of God be upon you in Jesus' name. Praise the name of the Lord. So also I want to thank God for the students. If you never came, we cannot be called a grass. If you never cooperated, we cannot continue. So the school is learning because of your cooperation, because of your commitment, because of your availability. May God bless you so much. Praise the name of the Lord. And as I finish, I want to say uh, something. Uh, we have just begun. We have done our diplomas. We have uh, done our certificates. But I want to make an appeal. Now let us usher in Pastor George Abonye to give us the second salutatory remarks from the certificate class. <laughs> Praise the Lord, everybody. <laughs> I may not follow the protocol, you know me, I'm a preacher. <laughs> but uh, let me take this opportunity first to thank the principal, uh, CRC Churches Australia, uh, the chairman of CRC Kenya, uh, the fellow graduates, all visitors. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord again. Amen. I, I stand here just to begin by thanking God for the opportunity he gave me to come to class and just learn about the word of God. Amen. Amen. I thank God. First, let me take off for this opportunity. He's spoken on behalf of the diploma class. Certificate class, sorry. Certificate class. So they'll be continuing to do their diploma. At CRC, as we learn, gain wisdom, skills, knowledge, we also meet new friends. I have an experience, and so we thank God for that opportunity. And now, let us usher in Bishop Dr. Shadrach Ochoko 
who will introduce to us our chief guest, Pastor Steve Pitt, Executive Director. Amen. We bless the Lord this far. I hope. What is the time? I, I left my chronometer. 20, 12. 20, 12. That's good. So um, I'm just going to make an announcement before Pastor Pete comes on board to do his 10 minutes, English 10 minutes. <laughs> um, we are requesting uh, our guests, please. Wakati tutakwa tuna wapokeza ma hawa wanafunzi ambao wamegraduate, wanagraduate leo. Tafadhali paparazi muturuhusu kwa sababu tuko na ofisi wa photographer na mtu wa video. Sawa? Muki kuja wote huku mbele utazuia zile picha zinahitajika for reporting tarudisha kule Australia. So muturuhusu tafadhali musije huku. Tunaelewana wa marafiki zetu wa Kenya. Yeah. <laughs> Kwa hiyo Tanzania ni wakoja, wa Kenya hakaari. Wa Kenya ni sabari. No, you don't say that. So, 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 please, we are requesting, we have our own official photographer. We have our own video man. So, please, uh, just take your photos from a distance. So that we allow our... Uh, our, our, our cameraman to uh, be in charge and, and, and it will be easier for us. So we could be upstanding as we prepare to uh, bring to the podium this Yes. I was asking him to help you because you are the one coming. Let's put our hands together for Pastor Steve. Sit down for a minute. I've been with the uh, CRC churches for more than 30 years. And the thing I liked about the movement was the, the beginnings. So Leo Harris, I knew people who used to work with him and minister with him. Alifahamu Leo Harris ni mwanzilishi wa huduma hii na wale waliokuwa kufanya kazi pamoja naye and they set themselves to minister to the people. Na wakajiandaa kuwahudumia watu. So healing, deliverance, things we talked about. Kuna uponyaji, kulikuwa na ukombozi yale tuliokuwa tukizungumzia jana. Yeah, ministry like we were talking about yesterday. Yeah, huduma kulingana jinsi tulivyoongea jana. Okay, and the result of that attitude was revival. Ndio, na kilichotokea ni kwamba kulikuwa na uvuvio. There was one of only a couple of revivals in Australia. Ah, kukatokea uvuvio nyingi sana kule Australia. I saw amazing things. I remember at one meeting I prayed for a woman who was deaf. She had no eardrums. And straight away she could hear. And so she went to the doctor to get her eardrums checked. And he couldn't find any eardrums. But she could hear. You may have heard of uh, Barry Silverback. Uh, when they took the revival into Papua New Guinea. Okay, 
Na kawaii za kwamba jisudi mtakacho omba katika jela Yesu ataifanya. So they said okay. Wakasema haya basi. And so they got prayer for their sick animals and they got healed. Kwa hiyo wakaleta wanyama wao mpaka wanyama wanaofugwa wakaombewa na wakapona. They were praying for their farm and vegetables and they grew really. Walikuwa wanaenda hata kuombea mashamba huku leo tuna ukame Mungu saidia. Lakini kule waliombea hata na kabeji, karoti na zikaanza kuna wingi. Kwa hiyo mwondoko huu kuna matunda lakini kilicho bora bado kinjiani kinakuja. Mimi nachangamkia sana CRC iliyopo Afrika. Na kuna mambo ya ajabu yanatendeka huko kwetu. Usifikirie kwamba watu waliko kanisani kwako sio sehemu ya huduma yako wao ni sehemu ya huduma unayoifanya ndio Mungu ataanza kukuonyesha mambo machache hapa na pale kuna mafunzo ya imani lakini pia kuna mapito yanayoleta tajriba kwa hiyo mambo tuliokuwa tujifunza tumeyafanya tangu miaka 30 ili kuwafungua watu. Na sasa nikiwa ni mzee ninashukuru kuona kwamba yale tunayofundisha kazi hiyo inaendelea duniani kote. Na mimi tu ni mtu wa kawaida. God put me through classrooms to learn. Lakini Mungu akaniweka kwenye darasa ili niweze kujifunza. The Bible says to make your calling and election sure. Biblia inasema kwamba kuihakiki mwito wako na uteuzi wako. So we, we know that the, there's uh, Ephesians 4:11 apostles prophets. Eh tunaelewa Wafeso 4:11 mitume manabii wajulisti na kadhalika. Okay, so I want to tell you a story. It's not my story. It's not long. Aya basi ningependa nikupe hadithi sio hadithi yangu na sio sio ndefu. Okay, we, we we need all of these different ministries. Tunahitaji huduma hizi zote tofauti. Okay, they grow us up to the full stature of the measure of God. Watusaidia kukua hata kufikia ukamilifu wa Kristo. I remember yesterday we were being conformed to the likeness of Christ. Kumbuka jana tulisema kwamba tunafananishwa na Kristo. So he was all of these things but we just kwa hiyo Kristo alikuwa na 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 na, na huduma hizi zote lakini sisi ni kwa sehemu tu. And what I found with uh, with callings is it chooses us we don't choose it. Na sikia kila ambacho nimegundua kuhusiana na mwito ni kwamba mwito ututafuta na kututeua sio sisi utafuta. Yeah, you, you are what you are it just emerges in you. Eh wewe ukile ulicho huwa kinachipuka tu ndani yako kipo. Okay, but each of those fivefold ministries will have a different thing that's the most important to them. Lakini kila moja wapo ya zile huduma tano huwa na mkazo, huwa na mwelekeo ambao ni wa kipekee tofauti na nyingine. Okay, so if you can imagine there's a big car accident out on the highway. Like basi ungeliwaza kuhusu ajali mbaya kwenye barabara kuu. Lots of cars all smashed. Magari mengi yamegongana. Okay, so the first person who arrives is the pastor. Kwa hiyo mtu wa kwanza anayefika kwenye eneo hilo ni mchungaji and he begins to get the people together and lay them out anaanza kuondoa watu kwenye eneo ya ajali na kuwaweka kando and he's making sure that they're okay na anahakikisha kwamba wa salama and he's getting details to look after to, to they can connect with the family na anatafuta taarifa ambazo zitamwezesha kuwaunganisha hawa majeruhi na familia zao Okay, so that's the pastor his community. Basi huyo ni ni chungaji yeye anahudumia jamii. Okay, the next person that turns up is the prophet. Ndio, yule anayetokea baadaye ni nabii. And the prophet begins to declare you shall not die but live and serve the Lord. Na nabii anatokea naye anaanza kutangaza utaishi hautakufa. The prophet begins to go around and and uh, identify the leaders naye eh identify the leaders the prophet yeah naye nabi kazi nyingine anayofanya ni kwanza kuwatambua viongozi what's important to them is that they know what what God's saying in the moment kilicho muhimu kwa nabii ni kwamba anajua kile anachosema Mungu kwa wakati huo okay the next person on the scene is the teacher basi anayetokea baadaye ni mwalimu 
And he surveys the sea. And with his great knowledge of the road rules, Na, na akiwa na marifa mengi kusiana na sheria za barabarani. He begins to look at the skid marks on the road and see what's happening. Anaanza kuangalia yaani ya, ya, alama zilizowekwa na miguu ya gari walipokuwa wakishika mabreki so that they can teach the people the right way to do it so it will never happen. Yeye wakaweze kufundisha watu jinsi ya kuepukana na gari wasije waka eh, angukia gari tena. And the next person on the scene is the evangelist. Basi anayetokea baadaye ni mwinjilisti. Okay, and he looks around at the scene. Naye pia anatazama hali. And then he notices all the people standing along the street looking at the accident. Naye anatambua kwamba kuna wale ambao wamekuja kutizama eh, yaliyojiri. Okay, and he goes, "Oh." Naye anatokea anasema, "Ah." You see this you can't be sure that this won't happen to you and that you'll make it home safely. Unaona hawa jinsi walivyopatwa na hali hii. Je, sembuse ninyi? Je, mnadhania kwamba na nyinyi mngekuwa salama? Nyumbani salama? Okay, he begins to preach to them. Anaanza kuhubiria. And he gets very excited. Na anachangamka sana. And he decides he's going to get a police radio so he can attend all the car races. Na anaamua kwamba atachukua radio call ili awe anatumika ku peleka taarifa kuhusu ajali zote zinazotokea. So the, mo the most important thing for him is that everybody gets saved. Kilicho muhimu zaidi kwake yeye ni kwamba kila mmoja apate kuokolewa. And then the apostle comes along. Alafu mtume anaingia. Okay, he begins to go around and pray for the sick. Anaanza kuingia na kuombea wagonjwa. And then he begins to establish a school on how to deal with people at car accidents and he takes it all over the world. Alafu anaanzisha chuo jinsi na kuwafundisha watu jinsi ya kushughulikia majeruhi au ajali za barabarani na kupeleka chuo hicho ulimwenguni kote. Okay, so his, his motive is to establish the ways of the kingdom on the earth. Kazi yake ni kudhibitisha eh, kanuni za kifalme eh, eh, hapa duniani. Okay, so so we need all of these ministries. But sometimes the, the uh, prophetic people uh, look at the teachers and go, you're too legalistic. Lakini mara nyingine manabii huangalia walimu na wakawaambia, ah, nyinyi mnatumika kwenye misingi sana ya sheria. And the teachers look at the prophets and they go, oh, you're off in the stars. Na mwalimu anamwangalia mtume anamwambia, ah, nyinyi mara nyingi mitume ya Apostle Brema huwa mara nyingi tu mko kwenye kwenye sulue. Muko tu uko kwa Kwa sababu wao wanazoea kuona maono na ndoto. Okay, but we need to celebrate all the different things. Lakini tunahitaji kuwasherekea huduma hizi zote. And we work together, amen. Na nakufanya kazi kwa pamoja mina. And then we'll see God get what he wants. Na basi hivyo tuta 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 tutashuhudia kile ambacho Mungu amekusudia. 10 and a half minutes British standard time. British Standard Time. Mame Mariza. You're through? Pia yesu makofi. Pia yesu makofi. Pia yesu makofi. So again, congratulations. Great work. It's a... Basi, ohongerevi kazi nzuri mulio ifanya. Awards of Certificate and Diploma in Christian Ministry and Theological Studies. Pia makofi. Congratulations are in order. To do the honors, we welcome the head of biblical studies, Nairobi City Campus, Reverend Boniface Muthiani. Presentation of candidates for certificates and diploma in Christian Ministry and Theological Studies. Introduction. The director's representative, Pastor Steve Peavy, School of Healing and Freedom Australia, the principal CRC International Mission Bible College, Kenya Campus Bishop, Dr. Shandra Ochuodo, director's representative, uh, Pastor Grant Laule, uh, School of Healing, and Freedom Australia, the Chairman, CRC International, Kenya, Bishop, uh, Bishop, Dr. Wilf, uh, Wilf, Wilf, uh, Wilf, Wilf, Wilcliffe, Bodet, graduates, invited, get families and uh, friends, all 
protocols of that. Greetings. Praise the Lord. Jesus, uh, praise the Lord in Jesus' name. It is with great pleasure that I stand before you today to present graduates for the band as CRC International Mission Bible College, Nairobi Pampas. Theological education continues to be a great concern in Christian ministry in our modern world with constant debates in the ministry and social media as its relevance. It, is, uh, it has been proven without question or shadow of doubt that an informed and knowledgeable church minister is better priest to minister. We are sincerely thank, uh, uh, and we sincerely thank them for their sacrificial, moral and financial support. The college runs a different program that is broken.
diploma class await to pursue their degree program. Amen. Amen. For those who would like to join year one, certificate in Christian ministry and theological studies, we invite you to come and register for the next class in the registration desk. You shall be advised when the next class will be taking place. And note, this is a tuition-free course. You only pay registration fees. This has been made possible by our partners from CRC Churches International Australia, represented by the team you see here today. May God prosper, then build means in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, hello, my brother. Uh, I hear you come from Congo. Oh, yes. what, what can you tell us, Kenyans, today? Yeah. What can you tell us today? You know, my English is not good, but I'll try to speak. Yeah, break it. Just break but, it. Uh, <laughs> Kenya is an amazing country. Amen. You see, you know, we have uh, got uh, an opportunity to learn something. Uh -huh. You know, knowledge is power. Yes. We are so happy, happy. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The way Kenyan welcome us yes. in this country. Oh, yes. We love you so much. Preach, Kenya. Papa. Preach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> love you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, okay, Thank Sante. Yeah. I is done. The day is done and we are so happy for Agnes. We are your friends, you know, we are your sisters. We will always be there for you. And we are going to pay school fees so that you go to diploma. And advance, I want you to be a pastor, a bishop. Yeah, that is your portion. Hello, Mr. 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 and Mrs. Tom Otoli, our bishop. Your daughter is here. The way she's making you proud. We love you, Daddy. We love you, Daddy. We love you, daddy. We love you Mommy. May God bless you so much. Yes, yes, yes. What, what do you have to tell your bishop? My bishop, this is your daughter. Oh, yes. I'm happy I'm under you. And also I have gotten an opportunity to learn and to understand the why. Uh -huh. I know you love me and I also love you so much and you are happy for me. Yes. And I want to make you more proud. Mm -hmm. More proud. Mm -hmm. Yes. Love oh you. yes, Bishop. Your daughter loves you. Mama, we love you too. Yes, <laughs>
kuna masuji maviazi karai na maviazi za mas, za i don't know na, na ma wings eh yeah. we chill out <laughs>